Good morning, everyone. Are you ready to see the almost finished rabbit area? This is what we have. So we have the roof on, there's a shelf right here, and then we have three rabbit pens. So inside the rabbit pens, you'll see quite a bit of, there's hay, there's sticks. I don't know why there's a chalk that is from the kids in there. That does not belong in there. All the chalk was on top. So there's quite a bit inside here. They have their little hut. Um, so there's going to be new huts coming in here. They're going to need slightly bigger huts. And these huts have about lived their life. We do not, uh, we don't keep these little huts forever. We definitely replace them because that's part of keeping your rabbit healthy, keeping your rabbit safe as they can be cleaned, but just at some point it's best to completely replace them. So we have our sitting area here that we had um, moved chairs to. Um, it's easy to sit just right in front of the rabbits. Now these pens can be lifted up. Let's give you a look here. So these pens can literally just be lifted up and they can be placed in the grass. So these have the these pens have the ability to move them around, set the pens so that the rabbits have access to uh, greens and stuff. And so we can move them around and that's just a quick and easy way to handle moving, uh, moving the rabbits, giving them different things to chew on safely. So the bunnies themselves have been chewing on a lot of different greens, a lot of different hay, a lot of different sticks, leaves, all that good stuff because it's warm here. And in this morning, so you can see there's sun, there's sun coming down. We have a chicken right there, but there's sun coming down. So the sun is way on the side and as everything is turning, the sun will eventually, in a very warm part of the day, this is all gonna shade the rabbits. And then it's obviously by the trees that'll produce quite a bit of shade towards the end of the day. As the sun starts setting, it produces a little bit less shade, but that's okay. So how does this handle the rain? Now this particular setup needs to be covered for wind, for rain. So right now this is something that a simple tarp will do in the summertime. When it's windy, when it's raining, that's extra work. However, we do plan on having a more permanent solution to this because we don't want to have to constantly be taking a tarp and constantly be moving and placing things on here. When you think about rabbit housing the and the health of your rabbit, the happiness of your rabbit, really what you're looking for is airflow, natural light, protection from elements, cleanliness. So these rabbits, this is a mom and daughter, Beatrix and Acorn. And these rabbits, this is as close to the wood as I want to get. I want to keep these pens uh, not by a lot of wood. I want to be able to have their droppings go straight through here to the ground. This makes it easy to clean underneath to clean out the droppings. So there's a pretty good breeze right now. You guys know I don't use a blower. It's helpful to have that good airflow, the rabbits are happy, the rabbits are healthy. So the, the actual exercise of the rabbits, these are pens that are bigger than the recommended size for our rabbits. However, this, if the rabbit, if the rabbits were to live their entire life in a pen this size, this isn't going to be sufficient for truly happy, healthy rabbits. They do like to get out and really run, really hop. The height, of course, is something that I've talked about. This is this height is not sufficient for the large, um, the large type of angora rabbits. Angora rabbits like to do this. You know, all rabbits like to stand up. So they need the ability to fully stand up, to fully stretch out. That's just something that they like. These guys are like, hey, let us out. So this housing has solved a lot of the 
a lot of the things that we have going on. This is definitely something you can see the airflow. You can see that uh, droppings are not going to get stuck in here. Hay is easy to move around. We don't have a problem with sore hawks. So the health of the rabbits is it's 100% wonderful here. Rabbits do need natural light. Rabbits in a situation where they don't have access to good light, that's not that's not preferable to rabbits. They do like a great environment. They love to be able to see. They love to be able to um, to get out. So when you're thinking about the housing, I'll show you this side view. When you're thinking about construction in the housing for your rabbits, you know, this is something that if we had to do it again, if we had to make another one of these, the rooster's loud. Uh, the roof overhang here is not much. Uh, a bigger roof overhang could be helpful. But then again, when you have people coming over and looking at your rabbits, you don't want them banging their head on the roof. You have to be careful of uh, when you have uh, visitors coming over. Wow. And the, the shelf again, this is gonna need something in the back. This is going to be, we're going to be storing hay. This is an easy spot just to set things. We didn't want to set them on the wire. Um, you can have wire that can be pressed down. It can be collapsed down. That's not something that we want. So the housing, this housing is going to need uh, additional support up here. The roof is going to need the additional support because of snow even though the pitch of this roof the angle of this roof is quite large it's just still something that we're going to need and want this to be supported so there you go this is what we have for one of our finished rabbit areas this is an awesome area i can easily take my spinning wheel i can sit and spin yarn here i can read here this is something that we'll just sit around and take out a rabbit and pet a rabbit, hold a rabbit. We set exercise pen out here. Just very easy, flexible, great situation. It's also very visible from the house, which is what we wanted. We have a lot of different windows where we can just look out immediately and take a look at the rabbits. So when you think about rabbits in your life and you think about when you're breeding rabbits, when you have more than one rabbit in your life and you think about properly taking care properly housing rabbits this is an option and it's an option for us here however in colder climates than ours in uh, warmer climates than ours this might not be an option but in this particular situation it really integrates the rabbits into our life it allows for that ability for the rabbits to um, to really be a part of things to really get the attention to really uh, <laughs> have a have an active part in our life and it works well when there's quite a few rabbits so thanks you thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video